Hello and welcome to Planning with Jamie. This week we are going to do February 14th through the 20th in our Big Happy Planner. So for this week I decided this Fun Florals book kind of drew me in and I love the bright pink flowers. And so I went ahead and I pulled a whole bunch of them down on wax paper to know where I wanted to put them. And so we are going to quickly put those down and go on with our planning from there. All right, if you've been around my channel for any amount of time, you know usually I end up whiting out all these items that are over here on the left-hand side of my Big Happy Planner. So we are going to begin by doing that. And then there's a quote down here also that I feel like will show through. And so we're going to take care of that really quick also. All right, meaning this was Valentine's Day, I wanted to go ahead and get some inspiration um, from something that is sweet and that a lot of people would enjoy looking at for Valentine's Day week. And so, like I said, all these flowers are really bright and pretty, and so they just really called to me, and I love the idea of using them. Now, I could be extra and white out these lines underneath, and part of me really wants to, I don't know, guys, should I? I think on a few of these, I am going to because I really think it'll make the flowers pop even more. Now I'm not looking for perfection. We go through this every single week, every single plan time. I am not a perfectionist by any means, but that being said, um, I do enjoy certain things being very straight and you know proper and all this kind of stuff. So let's white out right here. more flowers that I've already picked but I've decided I want to lay in some lines and maybe some boxes before I keep going with them and that way they can kind of correlate with the boxes so here I see the only place I have for lines is right here so we're gonna go ahead and plant those right in there If you're new here, my name is Jamie. I am a homeschooling mama to four wonderful kids, and I also work outside of the house. So my happy planner is so super important to be able to be functional for me. Like I have to keep track of what's going on for everybody or like what the menu is, like basically any planning thing um, I, I need to know and I need to keep track of 
because otherwise, you know, things get forgotten very easily or you're not prepared and it just causes more stress. And so this is where these lines come in. So you can see I am using a thicker Sharpie S gel pen is the 1.0. Usually I use the 0.38, but I've decided I really want these to be bold lines and really pop out on the page. Over here on Sunday, like I work Saturday and Sunday, so I'm not too worried about having lines on Sunday, but I do think I want some lines on Saturday. So let's see. All right, let's go ahead and put them down here on the bottom. And then this feels very weird to do all of the lines before I do like any of the boxes or decorating, but I want to make sure I like I have enough space because sometimes I just completely forget to do them until it's too late and then I have no space for my lines. And then I think the last one will be right up here. So this pin definitely is leaving a little bit thicker marks here. I'm not in love with that, but nothing we can do about now. We're just going to keep on planning. I will be cutting off all these edges over here, um, but I kind of want to wait for that also because it's holding my paper still for me. So it's a win-win. All right, now I'm going to look in my colorful boxes sticker book. And I like the idea of big, bold, black boxes in this. So I always try to have a box over there. And I'm not quite sure. Usually I always have a grocery shopping list and a menu plan on all of my spreads. So we'll kind of see. Maybe this will be my shopping list. All right, and then I want to get a few boxes in for things we have going for this week. So we do on Monday and Wednesday, we have speech. So I want to make sure to have boxes for that. And I think this will be cute down here. There we go. And then on Wednesday is speech. So we can throw that right up here. Ooh, that's cute with those flowers right there. All right, down here on the 18th, my youngest daughters has an extra dance class. It's to teach them how to audition. And so they are so super excited to have extra things going on for dance. And so we need a box there so that we don't forget to get them there in time. off center the box just a little bit all right that is super cute and then let's see do we need any other boxes physical therapy is not scheduled out this far yet she goes back to the doctor right after this week um, so I don't have to worry about physical therapy all right so I work Saturday and Sunday so we're just going to take some of these little black boxes and we can fill them in Oh, that one's a little crooked here. Let's fix her. There we go. Still looks crooked, doesn't it? Let's fix it again. Actually, There, I like it down there a little bit more anyways, so that kind of worked out good. All right, so I'm loving how this is so far. Let's see what else we have to do. All right, then I feel like we need a big February up here, and so here is happy memory keeping dates and holidays. And we have this big February. That is fun. 
Right, I do want to put a little sticker in here so I can list a few things that I am grateful for. And I think, let's fill it in right down here. We'll keep going with that little theme. So I have this loving that we will put right up here because it goes with the redness right there. Then there's a feeling. Let's put feeling right there. There's a dreaming. So let's put dreaming on Tuesday. All right, then there's a reading. So we're gonna put reading right down here. All right, we have a yay. I'm gonna put that right here on the dance box because that's a, always a fun day. And then one thing we haven't put in yet is that we have skating this day, dance, 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 dance. And so I'm going to see if there's any like little hearts or bullet points that can work for that. There is this living this sweet life. I think that'll be really cute down here. All right, we do have this whole entire page here full of hearts. So I'm just gonna pick some that go along with the color scheme and put them down. Right, this is a dance day. Right, here's another dance day. All right, another dance day. All right, here's another dance day. And then I wanna put one in here because it's all dance and that is just cute. All right, we will put that right down there. So those are cute little hearts. And then my son has his ice skating on this day, so speech and ice skating. So maybe I should get a second box. Guys, I did buy some undo, and luckily I just haven't needed to use it quite yet on this spread, so that makes me really happy. But I did finally go ahead and do it because I was really sick and tired of everything ripping and tearing. All right, and what do you guys have planned for your Valentine's? Like, are you one that goes out on Valentine's and does something big, or are you one that just stays in and does something with the family? Um, kind of what is your, what is your style basically for Valentine's Day? All right now I'm going to look in my household because there's certain things like trash day and everything that I like to denote in here. There is a weekly menu, but I don't want anything that big on this spread. Like I. I'm loving this spread, how it is, like not being super busy. All right, so here is another pink day. And oh, look, they actually have one for trash day. That might actually work for us. I like that. We could just put it, so this is a speech. So yeah, it's okay if we put trash day right next to speech. Um, there's wash, which I like to do wash Wednesday, but now that we have speech restarting on Wednesday, I don't know if that's truly going to work for me. Um, so we'll have to kind of play around with our schedule again and see what goes on with that. All right. So there was a little pink win. These are so cute. I absolutely love them. All right, let's look at this. I think I am going to put Wash Wednesday on Wednesday though, just because it's kind of my jam. Let's see. Let's put, this is speech, trash day. You know what, let's just put it here. Let's see what else we have. Dishes, the never ending dishes, bath, shower, the puppy dog. You know what, I almost need to call to get her back into grooming, but I think I'm gonna wait another week or two. Um, this car thing, I do need to put somewhere. Let's see, let's do,
Well, let's put the cute car here because we need to um, order oil for our vehicle so my husband can do the oil change. Vacuum, that's an everyday thing for us. How often do you guys vacuum? Like we seriously vacuum once or twice per day. And we don't have tons of carpet by any means. We just have it in our living room. And so it is a little bit funny that we do it so often. Um, there's a toilet, but I don't think I wanna put this on this spread because the spread is just so beautiful. Um, but this is really funny because Toilet Tuesday. I don't know, do I do it? Here, let, let's do this wash bucket instead. And we can put that right here for Toilet Tuesday. And then let's see, yeah, definitely not mowing. It's freezing cold outside. And then um, I will probably on Friday be putting in a grocery order. So I won't need to on Monday. I like to clean out my fridge on Tuesday for trash day on Wednesday. So my fridge will be clean this day and this day. So let's do a grocery order on Thursday this week. All right, and I think that's all out of this sticker book. All right, let's go ahead and cut off the edge of these flowers here. So I really love when stuff hangs off the edge. It just makes it fit so perfectly and look custom. And I also like it thickens up the page, like when you're flipping it. Um, and so it just feels sturdier and better in my hands. Sometimes when I cut these, I end up still using them because like this next one, this one here has quite a bit of flower left, but I don't think I'm going to be this week. Like you do you and do whatever works best for your planning. If it is something that isn't beautiful, that's fine. If it works for you, make it happen. I know a lot of people like this is too busy for them with all the flowers and such and so they wouldn't be able to be productive in it whereas I thrive when there is stuff all over like this. All right there you go there you have it this is Valentine's Day week February 14th through the 20th. I love it it's so simple but yeah I'm loving all of these little titles all over. I think that really pops and helps stuff out. We don't really have any game plans for Valentine's Day. I think we're more the people that stay in and celebrate as a whole entire family. So maybe I'll order some steaks or, you know, kind of let my husband pick what his favorite meal is and we'll just do it at home with the family and maybe have a game night and everything together. So I love it. Let me know what is your plans for Valentine's Day. Also let me know, are you loving your happy planner? Do you feel like you're in your flow? I know that I ask this every single time, but I feel like sometimes it does take a little bit to figure out what is working for you in your planner. So I know a few things are definitely working for me is having a menu and also having like a shopping list, which I think is going to end up being over here this week. And that works so well for me because I know if there's anything that all of a sudden my kids are like, oh mom, we need stick butter or milk or bread. Like I could just open up my planner and can get it written in and then it's out of sight, out of mind. I don't have to worry about it anymore. So I love this week. It turned out so cute. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also make sure that red subscribe button is pushed because I have so much more wonderful content coming for you guys this month.